Hi guys, it's Olga here and today's tutorial is about how you can protect your privacy on Facebook timeline. Although timeline comes with incredible features and potential, like always with something new, there is a dark side to it, uh, or better to say gray side, and in this case it's your privacy. And there are two main areas of very reasonable concerns. First of all, now you can easily access your whole life, any year, any event. But you know what? It's not just you. Anyone can go and see your whole life. So the question is, do you want your life to be open for public view? Secondly, now with the use of open graph applications and websites can access your data and also record your activity and post it back to your Facebook timeline. I tell you what happened yesterday. I was just browsing and I opened one of the posts on on the wall and it took me to the application and in 5 seconds I'm already playing in casino and I start receiving notifications from my friends. Hey Olga, are you playing in casino? And we never knew that you're doing it and I didn't even mean to play. In any case, this application actually recorded every activity that I am doing in through it back to the timeline for the public view. So in today's tutorial we are going to look into different solutions on how you can protect your privacy on Facebook timeline. And we'll look into posting protection, connecting, tagging and viewing protection, application and websites protection, profile info, photo protection, timeline, past posting protection. All right, so let's start. So, number one is posting. As you post your status update right here, you can specify who is going to see this status update. Is it for public view, your friends view, your lists or custom view? Well, if you are posting from a mobile device that doesn't have this feature, then what you can do is you can um, change a default right here, go to privacy settings and look right here, control your default privacy. So you can default it to friends, public or make it custom. Next, let's talk about who can connect, tag and view your content on Facebook. So we are in the same screen and which is privacy settings. You have a different options here. How you connect, edit settings. You can look through each section here and specify your preference. And also you can look into subscriber tag. Right here, if you're new to what subscribe option is, please watch our previous tutorial on subscribe function in Facebook. All right, so this is my subscription and who subscribe to me. You can change settings right here. Okay, if subscribers is on, who can comment, notifications and friend requests. All right, let's go back and look into the tagging settings. And you probably experience multiple times when someone tags you and you start receiving tons of different notifications and weird photos on your wall or timeline now. And this is very frustrating. So here you can change your tagging settings and I didn't know it before so I think this is a very good feature. So you can actually specify before you tagged in in the post or the post you tagged in will go on your timeline. It needs to be approved by you. So right now it's off and I'm going to turn it on right here. And I'm going to turn this on as well. I don't want anyone to tag me without my approval. Yet it's totally your choice, whatever your preference is regarding tagging. So I'm just showing you different ways of how you can set it up. Done. And the next thing I'd like to talk to you is about application and website settings. And this is crucial. Okay, you access it right here, edit settings. Here is all your applications, edit settings again. Now, see how long list is? I may not even use 
some of the applications. So just go through it and delete the applications that you don't want to use. If you'd like to edit and which I recommend, go right here. Most of them would require access to basic information. So you can change it, yet you can change this option. As well, what's important, app activity privacy. Who can see posts and activity from this app? And this, you can customize it precisely the way you want. Up to, this is only me who can see activity on this application. All right, or you can hide it from specific people and save settings. And so on, I suggest you to do it for each application that is active. By the way, you can also access your applications from your news feed or homepage. Right here, applications, more, and see the list of all the applications. You can access a specific application. You can edit it right here. Edit settings. And then you get to the same basically page. And you can adjust it to your needs. By the way, with a new ticker function, which is right here on the right hand side, many people concerning that the activity is recorded on this ticker. So again, these custom settings for your application will help you protect your privacy for the ticker as well as a timeline. Okay, let's move forward and let's talk quickly about your profile information uh, privacy settings. You can access it right from here about and, and just go through each section, click edit and you can see you can adjust your settings right from here, everywhere. Next, photos. You can adjust your albums and photos right here. Very simple, the same functionality. Also, I'd like to mention regarding each post which is on the timeline already, you can edit or remove it from timeline to protect your content. Another important thing that I want to mention in respect to your privacy settings is through view activity. You can go here, you can select whichever activity you want to look at and then you can adjust your settings right here for each post. Another very important point I want to mention in this tutorial is how to protect your past post, the post that you have on Facebook, that Facebook timeline created for you since the beginning of timeline. So what can you do? You can go again to privacy settings and you would see here limit the audience for past posts, manage past post visibility. Click here. Well, the only option you have here is to limit this visibility to your friends only versus public. All right, so if you decide to do that, which I think makes total sense, why not your friends or anyone in the world can browse through your timeline, you can limit it to only to your friends. And I'm actually going to do it right now. And to conclude this tutorial, I'd like to mention one more thing, how you can check the visibility of your timeline from public standpoint. So you go right here, view as, this is a tool to see how your timeline appears to a specific friend or public. You can type in the name of a friend and you can see what this person or public will have access and this takes us to the end of our tutorial. I hope it was helpful and you can easily protect your content on Facebook timeline using these uh, solutions. Thank you very much. Please comment, share and ask any questions and I'll see you soon. <music>